I'm doing well. Thanks so much. And it's it's safe to say the dream season isn't going so far according to plan for the Cleveland Browns and Baker Mayfield. I did have a chance to spend quite a bit of time with Baker yesterday. He's still unflappable. Guy has a lot of confidence, of course, after that big win on Sunday against Buffalo. But I think the thing that impressed me the most about Baker yesterday was his honesty. Take us inside. Storms brewing. We're not in your locker room. We only see the games. We see the press conferences. I was this didn't go the way you guys had planned to start off the season. Why do you think? Um, Just to raise you up. You know, the easiest thing to say, you know, lack of communication. It starts with me, and I'll take that blame. I happily will. And so, you know, being more detailed, being more precise with everything. But you're human. I mean, come on. Look oh, yeah. at what came in in this off season. Are you juggling, hiding me silently? Did the media crown you guys champions before you even set out on the field? I'd say within our building and what we were actually saying, we never said that we were going to be champions. You know, the outside picture was, oh, it's going to be this, it's going to be that. And we did expect it to become easy for us, and I think that's where we messed up. I think it's easy to look at what we had and say, hey, this is number 13 and number 80. They're going to go out and they're going to beat this guy no matter what. When in reality, we have guys up front that are blocking only for a certain amount of time, and I have to be able to get the ball out on time for them. How much of a target did the media maybe put on your back? Um, you know what, I, I think... I've definitely put a target on my own back just over time, but just a little one. But what, you like that, though, and who can blame you? That's why America fell in love with you, and you backed it up. I'm going to be myself, and that's yes. I'm never going to change. I've always been one to be very brutally honest with my thoughts, and that's, you know, part of the reason why I've gotten here. All those personalities are in one locker room. How do you navigate through those waters? I think I was a little hesitant at first to be myself. What, you? I don't I don't know why. I think that's where you know, I, I regret the beginning of the season not being as, you know, focused on the details. I was a little bit more laid back, yeah. um, you know, with the on the field stuff, you know, just trying to build a relationship instead of saying, hey, this is what we're gonna be about, mm -hmm. this is how we're gonna do it. America fell in love with you so quickly. You're a rock star in the NFL. That happened so fast, and then it can all turn so quickly, as you've seen. I mean, what's that experience been like, too? The roller coaster of, you know, the NFL life is something you really try to avoid. Um, you want to find the constant level, not getting too high, not getting too low. You know, obviously, we, we hit a low this year, uh, and so just trying to get back to that medium. But, it's tough, you know, when you feel like you're on top of the world and the next second something goes wrong and it can so quickly go away. It might not be the most satisfying thing or the best thing <laughs> yeah. at the time you think, but in the long run it could be. It mm -hmm. depends on how you use it. That's, I think that goes for all adversity throughout life. You know, a lot of times when we do these one-on-one -on -one sit down interviews, they're with players that are winning and in, and are having great seasons. And I have to say, I really respect and appreciate Baker making the time. He answered every question. Like I said before, he was absolutely honest. And TV, you got to say, I mean, this is a guy who seems like he has been humbled and he's trying to navigate his way through the NFL by being a starting quarterback. Yeah, 